Dear Zane, you asked me if I had any pre-war pictures. Unfortunately, they are gone. Everything gone. When the war began, we had no idea that the Germans were killing the Jewish people in every town and village. We had to run, and there was no time to take anything. We ran as we were, and now nothing from our life remains. I can't bear to remember the terrible suffering I have lived through. May it never happen again. It terrifies me to remember, so I have never told all of this to anyone. At the train station, people were in a panic trying to save themselves. We piled into primitive platform cars. So many people that there wasn't room for a needle or a pin. As we traveled, the Germans pursued us from the air, shooting at us, bombing the train relentlessly. There were dead and wounded people everywhere. The majority, children and old ones. People screaming, bleeding, blown to bits and pieces. We were sent to Central Asia to work in the fields like slaves. For this, they gave us 200 grams a day of kumak, a partially inedible remainder of rice. We boiled water in a pot and sprinkled in two or three tablespoons. This was all we had to eat all day. People were starving. Everywhere they were drying up and dying of hunger like flies. Our mother died at this time from starvation. She wasn't even 40 years old. And finally, when we came back to our village, the place where our home once was, we found only ruins. The Germans had destroyed our town to crumbled stone. Only two or three houses were left from a hundred. It was impossible to find anything from our old possessions. We stood at the pile of rubble that once was our home. And we saw a shard of pottery, a piece of blue bowl that our mother had used for baking. That was all that was left from our life. With this, I will close. Write, ask, and I will answer. Fima. <laughs>